It's really exciting, actually. Like, it's been a long process, but I'm really excited to play. Like, it makes me feel like I can actually do it now, too. They went through everything like I can do. Uh, well, our team, it looks like it's going to be really good, like both players and coaches. So I'm hoping we're going to get a gold. <laughs> it's the uh, first time for me meeting both those two, and uh, it's nice to be able to get to talk to people who have gone through uh, kind of winter games and uh, made it to the levels that they have. Yeah, for sure, it's a great honor. Like, uh, I can't wait to be able to, to play at a, a national level like that. And uh, very excited to be able to, an honor to have the chance to. Uh, or the other night getting the call was was crazy and excitement. And then to come here to see all this is just breathtaking. I remember, I remember the day they were uh, they were announcing it, and I was counting down and waiting and waiting for the phone call. And uh, I mean, it was uh, like I said, it's 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 such a good process uh, starting from the the uh, Alberta Cup. Um, you know, you grow up, you, you play against the guys, you play with them, you, you try out with them, and you get to know them. And um, you know, it was a huge day for me, and uh, I can only imagine what these guys are going through. Um, you know, I remember it like it was yesterday, and uh, it's it's fun to see uh, the excitement on their faces. You know, for me, it was uh, it was a big step. I know there's a lot of scouts there that, uh, especially for the Team Canada, when you get picked for the under 18s, and you kind of just move your way up the ladder. So. Um, you know, it's it's kind of your first uh, real real glance at uh, what it's like for for hockey throughout Canada. You're playing, I mean, the best players in each province, and and the, the hockey's very competitive. So, um, you know, it, like I said, it, you really get to see where you're at and what your levels at. You know, I remember that tournament like it was yesterday, and um, you know, just the way the group of guys came together was the first opportunity for all of us to to really play on a on a national stage, and um, you know, it was just. Just a, a, a lot of fun, the whole process. It wasn't just, uh, obviously, it, it came to a peak there at the end uh, with the gold medal, but um, just going through the whole process, really growing together and, and becoming a team was, uh, was incredible. Yeah, well, my uh, my experience was a little unique. We were in Whitehorse, and uh, it was I remember how cold it was. First off, it was uh, it was freezing, so I mean you couldn't even walk outside to to get to the lunch area. So, um, you know, but overall it was uh, it was unbelievable. It's it's almost like a mini Olympics, to be honest. You're you're, you're in a a situation where you're you're not only seeing athletes that play hockey or ringette, but you're seeing people that you know ski and cross country and. Um, you know, you really get to see how those people train and, and at such a young age and, and see how passionate they are. So, um, you know, as an experience-wise, it's something I'll never Obviously, forget. Obviously, it's a, it's a different tournament. Uh, I think a lot of these guys have played a lot of hockey tournaments, but you go to this and, uh, you know, you're in an athlete's village and, and you're with all these other top top athletes uh, in their sport and you meet people and how they prepare and, all, and you know, you just see all these different things. So. Um, it's definitely it's it's exciting that way. Uh, it's a different experience, and then also I think just uh, you know we we weren't supposed to be the best team in the tournament, um, but uh, we never let it bother us. We we came together. Um, we, we played the way we wanted to play, and uh, and we you know, we stuck together. We didn't have any bumps right right through the end. Um, you know, it's such a, a neat event in the, the way that they put it on, and, and you get to sit in uh, the dorm rooms and, and uh, hang out with other athletes. So um, definitely enjoy it. Well, absolutely. I mean, it's a top-level competition, and you get a chance to play games and play against the best players. Um, you know, it's just it's just one more experience. You add, you add to the experiences, and, and uh, you learn how to win and, and what it feels like to win, and, and then you, you take it and you build build towards uh, the next event and you know whether that's under 18s or world juniors whatever it is um, you know you, you need to go through the process and, and do this stuff first to be able to uh, to get ready and, and have the ability to win at the next level as well. Um, well it definitely helped me you know make it to the Western League and even to uh, you know the Alberta Midget Hockey League um, you know you're put in a situation where I remember we had the Alberta Cup and the under, under 16 camp and then uh, top 8 I mean there were, I think there were four or five camps so um, you know it was definitely hard but you, like I said you're put in a situation where you're playing with the best in the province and uh, you know, really, you have to elevate your game in order to, to try and impress uh, the scouts and the coaches, and, and that's just going to help you as a player. And, and like I said, it, it helped me elevate my game so that I can make the Western Hawk League as a 16-year-old and make uh, the Alberta Midget League as a 15-year-old. So, um, you know, they, they really do do a really good job at, uh, you know, developing their kids and, and uh, you know, making them feel comfortable just that they're able to make this team. Which, you know, we uh, we won a medal. We won bronze. I mean, that was... Uh, any, I mean, anytime you win your last game, it's uh, it's exciting. So, 
um, you know, that's definitely a fonder memory. But, you know, just being in the, the dorms with the guys and hanging out, I mean, st I still keep in contact with a lot of guys. Uh, one of my good buddies, Tyler Myers, plays in uh, Buffalo now. And, um, you know, there's some other guys like Steven Samkos and Del Zotto and Petra Andrew, guys I've played uh, World Juniors with now and, and uh, you know, that have played in the NHL. It's, it's a neat experience to see where guys are nowadays uh, at such a young age when you got to play them there. So, um, you know, that's, uh, that's definitely a fonder memory.